This is our new 10K generator. You can see that it's different from the 5K in this respect. We are using a one inch keyed shaft. You can see it right here. We've added cooling slots on both sides of the generator. The coils themselves are much larger. You can see these right here and down in here you can see the magnets are much larger too. The idea there is that we wanted to give the person who wants more power an option. What we also wanted to verify is that the power, the efficiency rather, was still as high as ever even with going to a 10K model. Again, we're using the Himmelstein. We're using a Lovejoy coupler, which is right there. This is as per Himmelstein. This is what they want. We're using our standard three horse motor, our uh, true RMS gener uh, meters. We have uh, a direct reading current meter. And we have, of course, our our um, Excel spreadsheet. Now this is the uh, latest that we've got out of it. We were at 93.33 percent and I'll run it up once so that you can see what it was doing. I'll run it up to 190 volts. You can hear the generator running, it's dead quiet, no vibration. And these are the numbers we're getting, so you can see that they're consistent. Because the generator is so large, the three horse motor is having some problem keeping up with it, but the generator itself, you can see it's vibration free, it's solid, the efficiency is there. This is a very efficient generator and it's creating this 93.3 efficiency at only 1,088 RPM. This generator, through a planetary gear system or some other gearing, will be on many of our new wind turbines, and it's the precursor to show that regardless of the size, the design works, the design has the same efficiency across the board, and it's going to be a very effective unit no matter where it's employed.